What's going on, YouTube modeling community? Pappy here at West Georgia Rods and Customs. It's a lazy Saturday afternoon. I done got all my honey do list done. And uh, now I've got a little bit of free time before we go out to dinner later on this evening. Vicky's out and went to get, uh, she went to get groceries and stuff. So I got a little free time to kind of kill here in the probably the next hour or so. I was watching Dr. Cranky's video the other day about parts box diving as far as pulling out your uh, uh, just old unwanted uh, parts box. Everybody's got one. Um, everybody's guilty of it. I save, I wouldn't say I'm a hoarder, but I like to save the parts. It's kind of like my little small junkyard as far as to pull parts from and, and just build various different little kits. I just recently finished up the Big Rig Group Build uh, hosted by Jeff's Model Garage and Thomas Soltis over there. Uh, what I built was a 132nd scale NASCAR uh, hauler as far as it was a Jeff Gordon kit. I never was a Jeff Gordon fan, but so to no avail, I just built it as maybe a little hot rod hauler. So what else you gotta have in order to have a hot rod hauler? You gotta have a 132nd scale hot rod. What's better than a hot rod uh, to have an old 32 Ford Roadster? I had this kit in my stash. I had really forgotten about it, but it's a 32 Ford Roadster Coupe, 132nd scale. This thing was a 1961, possibly a 67 pop, or probably a later 76 pop. I'm not really 100% sure. I'm gonna assume that it was around a 76. So, uh, what better to do than just to break this one out and just do what uh, Dr. Cranky was talking about as far as just parts box diving. Uh, pull the kit out, of course, that really all I've got uh, is just a good, you know, a good base uh, model as far as the, the body's in good shape. Not missing too many pieces on it. The only thing that was missing was the other half of the engine. So, what do I do? I dump, jump into my old parts box. I don't really have an old 132nd scale engine, so I'm gonna take an old small block Chevy engine. It looks like it would fit down in there. I may not be able to use the transmission on it, so once I glue it all, uh, both the halves together, I'll probably cut the tranny off, leave the bell housing. This is gonna be a curbside kit, so I'll glue that, just make it fit down in there. Everybody knows that I love big block or small block or what have you, but I love a blown engine on a car. So I found me an old, pulled me an old parts box blower out. I think that come off an old Corvette kit that I had. Uh, set that down on there on top of that. I've got the other parts that goes along with the engine as far as the heads, the valve covers and all of that. Uh, got the, uh, this is the floor pan for it. Uh, found the found me a blower belt for it. Found me an old injector hat as far as uh, one of these old BDS type blower tops set on top of it. Picked me out some small headers and stuff. Uh, what else have I got? Found me another set just in case if that don't work. Picked me out a steering wheel. Uh, some different headlights, things like that. I know a lot of y'all, man, I do. I saved the heck out of these things. These are actually what sandwich meat comes in. And I, I save the, uh, I save these and what I save them for is to put, I do a lot of different things with it. I'll put a, maybe a kit that I've started on into it and I store it up in case if I get bored with it and set it to the side, put the lid on top of it and, and uh, we'll just store it up like that. And then, then we'll come back to it at a later date. Uh, here's, uh, I found the, the, the decals that was in this. Uh, these are, I'm not going to use the decals, really the only one that's in that I may use will be the little dash piece right here. I might use maybe some of the, uh, uh, it's got some cool scroll work. I hope I can salvage these things if I can. That's just awesome if I can. This is a very old vintage kit. But what I'll be doing, I'll be keeping you up to date on this and this is going to be going uh, for part of my Big red group bell. This will be the little hot rod that goes with it. And I'm just tickled to death to know that it's a 132nd scale and it's got not going to look, you know, it's not going to look too much out of scale. The parts that I'm using are 124 scale, but you know, I will, uh, you know, I'll, I'll work around that as well, but it'll look kind of, it'll look kind of cool. Have a big old engine sticking up out of it with a big old blower and uh, having the uh, bigger tires and wheels on it and uh, have that sitting beside the uh, the hauler that I've got there. Awesome little kit. I uh, got the instructions in yonder in the in the shop on, on my workbench, and, but I'm out here in the garage day just kind of kicking back. Uh, I actually needed to clean this table off. I'd been working on it all winter 
doing paint work and things like that from inside. And once I would get finished, I'd transfer everything in there to the to the main little hot rod shop in there in, uh, in my man cave and do all the assembly work in there. I got the 32 Ford three window uh, kit that I'm working on right now. Got it, uh, just finished spraying the clear on the hood on it. Uh, got the problem with the frame uh, as far as the reef sprayed the base color and the clear coat on it like yesterday. It's dried, it's sitting in there. I actually got it into a rolling chassis this morning after breakfast and before I started work on what I need to do around here in the house. So be looking for updates on that. I'll probably do a posting on it after a while once we get back from dinner. I got to run to Hobbitown, USA uh, after dinner, go and check out, see what kind of kits they got up there. I got to pick up some supplies for some of the bills that I've got going on. So look for updates on those as well. I'll be trying to post some of those here pretty soon. Well, guys, that's about it. I'm going to wrap this up. God bless y'all. Hope y'all have a rest of the great rest of the weekend as far as uh, working on whatever you're working on. If you get finished and you do a final on it, post it as a final. Guys, you'll be on. Or girls, uh, we got got some ladies out there that are, that, are, that are posting bills as well. And it's great to have them and their husbands and boyfriends into the community along with them. You know who you are and I ain't got to mention no names, but... Awesome to see that. Got some youngins out there also. Uh, let's see, Grayson Caffaro, him and his dad, Godfather Bernie. Oh, goodness, great to see that. Got a bunch of other other youngins out there that, that build, and it's awesome to see them out there in the community. Uh, that's pretty much it. Gonna wrap this video up, get it posted up. Y'all remember, guys, if you can dream it, build it. This is Pappy, out of here.